shout out to that lady there. She is amazing. Told us all the cool spots to go around in this area. So this, we are in NDSM. This is like a very uh, industrial, like kind of arty, creative area here. So it's all graffiti, it's very, I mean, check this out, look here, look here. Look at that, that is a freaking submarine and people just graffitied on it. That is dope, dude. So this is like all like the industrial, this is where the hipsters have come and just over like, like taken over this area and they've kind of made it their home, I guess. And uh, it, it reminds me of um, this place in Dubai called, oh, what's it called? El, El Sam, I can't remember what it is, man. But uh, yeah, so we're, dude, we're just gonna go walk around and see what this place is all about. This is like the most untouristy thing ever. This crane is actually a hotel, believe it or not. Apparently there's like three rooms only. Oh yeah, you can see the rooms. All right, check this out, right? This is a fucking hotel. How weird is this? That crane there. That's a hotel. I can't believe that. Look at this area here, man. This is insanely good. Oh, dude, yo, there's signs there. Fantastic. All right, something tells me we're allowed to go in. I think so too. Getting some pretty badass portraits here. Dude, I like this place. It's like so trailer parky. Can't get over it, man. I'm, so I'm gonna take a guess. Rebecca said this, that people actually live here. Like, these are people's like homes. So, I don't know, man. I don't know what to think of it. All right, I found this little chair. So we're gonna do some more photos of Rebecca being strange. Man, everything here is just so cool. Look at this it's truck. Art. Yeah. Like, I actually really enjoy being here a lot. What about you? Yeah, they like, can. This is seriously like our, our scene. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, so everything around here, right? Everywhere you go, it's just like, there's something to look at and there's something to take a picture of. It's like, look, it's just graffiti the fuck out of everything here. It's just random shit, but you can spend like an entire day here just getting a bunch of pictures and stuff. I do feel like I'm like in my kind of, um, in like, like this is where I belong kind of thing, you know? That is what I'm talking about, dude. That is what I'm talking about. Dude, if I were to have an office, this is where I would have the office. Mm. Honestly, this is the perfect place to have an office. Now, how would you how would you get up those steps? There's like nothing from here to up there. By the way, some uh, hipster told me off for filming him spray painting. I got told I I, I got told off by a, a a Dutch hipster. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Too late. <laughs> like I was I was filming him and then he said something in Dutch right and then he mentioned the word film so I was like okay maybe you got a problem with me filming so I was like can I film you he's like if you ask and I was like 
oh, can I film you? And then he's like, it's too late, man. <laughs> so he's not going to my slow motion video, is he? No. No. Fucking hipsters. All right, we're pretty much at the end of that like hipster area. Um, so we're going to go back around. Now, here's the thing, right? There's a little market on there where people are paying to go in. The thing is, we don't want to pay if it's just a market, but at the same time, we're like Rebecca was saying to me, maybe it's a way to get in to there. Oh, do you want to walk there and see if the door? Let's have a look. Yeah, let's see. Let's inspect this walk a little bit. There. These things have got to be the coolest things I have ever seen. Like each container is like one room. It's but like that a. One's empty. Oh yeah, it's like a dorm room. And look, everyone's got their clothes hanging and stuff. This is so cool, man. I'd love to live in one of these. It's like the world's about to end and everyone's getting the on the boat. Uh, yeah, the last boat <laughs> before the zombie apocalypse so starts. <laughs> yeah. By the way, if I haven't mentioned before, the ferry is free to travel on. How's your chips? I prepared yesterday's. Really? I actually preferred this one from yesterday's. No, but, I prefer the first day. But I prefer the first day from both days. So, first day is one, third day is second, yesterday's one is last. Yesterday's one I feel were like a bit too greasy. These ones are like quite nice and dry. But the first day's one, it was just something about them. Like they had a really, really nice uh, yeah, seasoning to them. And they were crunchy. It was, it was nice. really nice. Man. And they were the cheapest ones too. They were the cheapest ones. So once again, we are aimlessly just walking around, vibing out. Oh, it smells so good here. Dude, every bakery you walk past just smells like heaven. Can you hear the music? It's so quiet here. We can hear someone singing opera music. Walking through alleyways and we find this very, very... Oh, it smells like piss. Oh, that's bad. That's very, very... Anyways, as I was saying, It's it's quite nice. Rebecca, stand under there for me. I'm gonna get a picture of you, okay? Best view in Amsterdam. Look at that window there. To this, how amazing is that? Hey, I think this is the Squinty House. Yeah, yeah, it's because so, that yes. is there. So yes. So we, this is what we've been looking for. So this is the Squinty House which we saw in yesterday's vlog on the canal. But we actually decided to walk here. Right, check this out. I'm gonna vlog them. So I think I missed them yesterday. Look at that. It's squinty, it's... Hold on, let me stand in front of it. Obviously, you know it's squinty because they've stopped there to watch it. But yeah, guys, okay, from here you can actually see it now a bit better. Hold on. Okay, so this is a lot better. What? Look at how straight... Like, this camera is actually straight right now. But then look at the houses, they're like wonky. They're so squinty. Look, it's not an illusion. Yeah. 
Look at that. That is not an illusion whatsoever, guys. That is actually like squinty. So we're basically trying to find the lock bridge. It's where people put like padlocks on the... Why do they put the padlocks on the bridge? Is that like a thing? So, because they love each other, so you put the padlocks on the bridge. Oh, because the lock's your relationship and your love. Okay, right. That's why. See if you want like a relaxing place to come for a holiday to just walk around and like vibe out. This is definitely like the place to come. Yeah. You can honestly just sit here for like all day and just watch like the boats go by and stuff. And it's really nice. Go. There we go. That there is the smallest house in Amsterdam. See that little bl white block there? That is just one house. Right there. So that there is normally like one house, but this here, one house. I would probably say it's like the smallest house in, uh, in the world, not just Amsterdam. But uh, yeah, that's how crazy is that, dude? So we think this bridge here is where Casey Neistat proposed to Candace Poole, his wife, in Amsterdam. Right here, see where that lady is walking? Hold on, we'll, we'll get closer to it. So this one. Hey, hold on, let's see the locks. We might find one yeah. of his locks. Yeah. This might be it. At all, that's not Casey. Right, let's just say one of his locks is here, all right? Let's just pretend. <laughs> yeah, let's just pretend it's here. So There's this, we think this might be the one where he got married on. Engaged. Or that one there, that bridge there. But Rebecca thinks it might be this one. I think so, I'm not sure. Oh, hello. Ooh. 